We are the one who have sent down the reminder and we will protect it. So the Quran we have today is the same as what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited to his companions. And it's been, you know, it's been preserved in writing and also in memory. You know, the Quran is memorized all over the world. So there's hundreds of thousands of Muslims who have memorized every verse of Quran. That's, that's the basic message of Islam. And obviously we believe that one day we're going to leave this world. We're going to die. When we die, you know, our families, our friends, our money, our education will not help us. The only thing which will help us is if we have the correct belief and we've done righteous deeds in order to bring about the mercy of God. We don't believe that a, a person does good deeds in order to, um, that I'm entitled to paradise. But we believe that good deeds is something which brings about the mercy of Allah. Any, any questions or? Sorry? Yeah, no, because Islam is very simple. Like, as you can see myself, I'm English. I became Muslim when I was 19. So when I was about 16, 17, I was looking like what is life about? I looked at Christianity, I looked at Judaism. Whilst I found good in them, it didn't uh, convince me. But then uh, a friend, he'd been, uh, he was West Indian, he became Muslim like a year before. He told me about Islam and it was so simple and so straightforward that I believed it to be true and then, then I became Muslim. So, yeah. Have you ever thought about Islam for yourself? Oh, your mom's Arab? Okay, which country is she from? Palestine. Okay, alhamdulillah. And where's your dad from, you don't mind me asking? Okay, is he Muslim? Okay, okay. So, so what about yourself? What, what is, is, is there anything? Is there anything which is um, holding you back or anything which you're not sure about? No, we're in uh, like, this is Islam. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything's really holding you back. I just can't decide what, what, I, what my soul really connects to. Okay. But it seems like the, obviously I don't know what's in your heart, but the way you're listening and the way you're responding, it seems you, you feel Islam is, uh, has something to offer. I've always loved, I've always loved Islam. Yeah, see, one of the, the beautiful things I find about Islam is it offers you guidance for everything in your life. Like, what do we eat? How do we marry? How do we have relationships with our parents? How do we have relationship with our children? Uh, how do we worship God? How do we know God? How do we know Allah? Uh, what do we believe about the messengers? What do we believe about the books? What do we believe about the last day? Because in the Quran, we, ha we have two things in Islam. We have the Quran, which is the, the speech of Allah. It's not the speech of anyone else. It's just revelation given from Allah by the angel Gabriel to the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as we have this. And then we have the teachings of the prophet Muhammad So whatever he said and whatever he done, all of this is recorded. So for example, the Quran says, salat, Establish prayer. But then the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, practically how he prayed five times a day, every detail we have recorded. So Islam, it offers you a complete way of life. And because... Yeah, step by step. And because, for, for example, ourselves, we may have some understanding, but you know, we're limited. And obviously, one day I may feel like this, the next day I change my mind. Today I know something, tomorrow I may forget it. Today I'm sure about something, someone will come and tell me, no, actually you made a mistake. But because Islam is the religion of Allah, and He's the all-knowing, the all-wise, if we follow that guidance, then it's like we are, we are protected and you have tranquility. You have, uh, you know, you understand your purpose in life. Like Allah says very clearly in Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ It says, Allah says that I did not create jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind except to worship me. So when a person accepts Islam and they submit to Islam, that actually this is the whole reason why we've been created. So if a person accepts this, you'll find that your life will have uh, tranquility. We still have difficulties, we still have tests, but a person knows what I'm here for. What's going to happen after I die? Where, where am I going to? Otherwise, a person is, is they're, like, they're lost, they're in confusion. That's why you see, you know, a lot of uh, famous people. They're very wealthy, they have fame, they have the cars, they have the nice food, 
they have the you know men they like or they have the women they like but they're still not happy because true happiness can only come when you have a relationship with your creator so how does that sound sorry yeah so have you thought about Islam for yourself okay and what, what did you what was the conclusion okay okay we're here every Saturday if you have any questions or anything like this but I would say make it you know like we we are we're busy we have family we have work we have studies but make it a, a priority like what am I here for so have a read and then you can come back ask any questions or anything like this okay thank you very much how about you madam you're very quiet okay no problem you have a read as well if you have any questions then you're welcome to ask okay then thank you very much yeah. About, um, have you yeah. What's the charity for? It's for mosques, churches, homeless people. Okay. Okay. No, no, thank you. Um, I'll ask in a minute. Are you around here? Okay. I'll, I'll ask them and then I'll come and tell you. Okay then, thank you very much. All the best. No. <laughs> Should I take them off? <laughs>